It's the start of 2024 and one of my goals is to take charge of my finances. Because as a father of three kids, income is basically left pocket, right pocket. But do you know that in the past, I used to diligently track my expenses into an Excel spreadsheet? This was before marriage but I've been struggling to keep up with this habit as especially after having kids. I like to use the excuse of having no time but in reality, I have just been lazy. However, I think I found a solution, introducing Dobin. But before we begin, my name is Darren, I'm from Singapore, I have been interested in personal finance ever since I graduated from university in 2008 and I have been posting on YouTube to share my interests. So if you are someone very keen on this topic of personal finance, then do consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, enough of this, let me turn on the Dobin app first to run through its features with you. So Dobin allows us to track our money much more easier. This is especially useful for people like me with multiple bank accounts and credit cards. And how they aim to do this is by allowing us to connect our bank accounts and credit cards to the app so that we can get a clearer picture of our cash flows and expenses. In order to connect our account, we just need to click the home button over here and click the manage button. And these are the banks and credit card platforms that we can connect our account to. I know you guys must be wondering, hey, why do I have Citibank? I've clarified with Dobin and and they'll be adding Citibank to the list around the end of the first quarter, so stay tuned for their update. By now, you guys must also be wondering about the privacy and security features of the app. I will address that at the later part of this video, but let's say you wish to link a bank account, you need to fill in your account information and just like logging into your online banking, there is a one-time pin that you have to key in and only then will Dobin start retrieving your account information and recent transactions. This process being secured will take a while and once you're connected, you'll then be able to view your total account balance. Domain's access is read-only and what this means is that it can only view information and cannot send instructions to users' bank account. So once you guys have connected all your accounts, click the account tab over here and you'll then be able to view the total balance across all your bank accounts as well as individual accounts at one glance. And if you want each account to be broken down even further, then just click the view all option here and you'll be able to access the account balance across all your individual bank accounts as well as credit card outstanding with just a click of a button, which is super useful. In addition, I can view the cash flow trends across all my accounts with so much ease and this allows me to understand if I am hitting my saving targets for this month. If it is, then great. But if it is not, I can show this data to my wife and we can have a budgeting conversation when the kids are asleep. Clicking the expense tab over here allows me to have a detailed breakdown of all my expenses for the last three months. For a start, Dobin has a high degree of categorization accuracy, however the app will not be able to accurately categorize all your transactions. So if you plan to download the app, what I'll recommend doing is to take some time to properly categorize your transactions so that you can have a clearer picture as to where your money is going. In order to properly categorize, just click on the transaction once and you'll be brought to this transaction detail page. From there, you can either scroll through the list of categories or if you are lazy, you can just use the search feature over here. And therefore, if you find yourself overspending over one category, then perhaps it could be time to find cheaper alternatives. In fact, when we click the explore all function, we can even sort our transactions by its date, amount and even merchant. And there is also a summation tab which allows us to select specific transactions and we can then get the total amount that we have spent. So let's say I would like to know how much I've spent over the weekend. I can then sort my transactions by date, then click the summation tab and it will count how much I spent on a day and give me an average on how much I spend per transaction as well. So impressive. Hence, what I like about Dobin is the fact that it spots my spending habits and allows me to discuss with my wife on ways to cut down unnecessary expenditure. Another useful feature of Dobin is the credit card tab. So for a start, when we enter this page, our credit card details will be shown. However, Dobin will not know what card is tagged to the specific card number. So the first thing is to update the relevant card into the app. I've already tagged each credit card to its respective card number as you can see over here. What I like about this tab is that it shows me how much I spent in the current month as well as a brief summary on the card benefits over here. Of course, all this data is not in real time and we need to click the refresh button over here in order to update our transactions manually. In fact, you will be asked to authenticate every refresh to ensure your data security. So as you can see, this is my HSBC Revolution card. As you know, you get 10 times reward points each time you use it for online and contactless spending up to $1,000. Now in order to ensure that I don't spend more than $1,000, I can check the current month spending and if it is close to $1,000, then I'll just switch to another card such as my City Rewards card for example. This makes tracking so much easier. And if you click inside the transaction tab over here, 
you'll be able to see all the transactions for the card for the last three months where you can use the filter button and the submission button to further scrutinize your spending. The discount tab allows us to explore discounts from different categories such as groceries, food and dining, shopping etc. And the top discounts will show the top 20 offers that the app feels is most relevant to us. As you can see, there are over 4,588 discounts available but we can narrow the discounts down by using the discount filter over here. This will allow us to filter via our credit card issuers as well as selected platforms. And if any of these discounts do catch our eye, then what we can do is click this hard button over here to save it to our favorites list and we can then resume browsing these discounts at a later date. But I guess by now you guys must be wondering, hey with all this data at your fingertips, is the app safe to use or not? To be perfectly honest, I shared these exact same concerns and I voiced them over to the Dobin representative during our online meeting and he assured me that in Dobin, they have made it their top priority that our data remains confidential and protected. In fact, if we were to refer to their website via the trust and security section, under the credentials, Dobins can only access our transactions and balances to display on the app. And this is done via a user authorization and a two-factor authentication. The app also does not store our bank login details in the server. These details are securely stored on our device password manager via Apple Keychain or Android Key Store. With regards to Dobin's access, I have been assured that its access is read-only. This means that Dobin can only view information and it cannot send instructions to users' bank account. For example, money transfers, etc. This is something only we have full control of our own account. In terms of privacy, the app gives us the flexibility to opt in or out of data sharing. And even if we were to opt in, our data is kept strictly anonymous and will not be shared with any external parties. To show how this works, let's go to the app once again and enter settings by clicking our icon over here. If we were to scroll down, we can see under preference, there is this consent and privacy tab. If we were to click it, we can see that under anonymous sharing, we have the option to share our transaction details to the various banks that are connected to the app. These transaction details are there to help Dobin improve and no personal nor identifiable data is ever shared with Dobin. To protect our privacy, all user data is stored anonymously with restricted access in compliance with Singapore's PDPA regulation. But if we are not comfortable using the app, there is a danger zone where we can click to either delete or bank data. This essentially deletes all transactions and account information from the banks that we have connected as well as an option to just delete our account totally. With all this said, I would also like to bring your attention to future updates to the Dobin app. Firstly, Dobin is a smart recommendation tool to help users find the perfect credit card to use depending on whether users are on Team Miles or Team Cashback. This is definitely a welcome update as we carry so many credit cards in our wallet that sometimes you get confused as to what card to use for what transaction. Secondly is the Citibank integration for a more holistic view. This is extremely useful since most of us have at least one Citibank credit card. I for one use a City Rewards card packed with the Amaze card for the bulk of my spending and since we only get 4 miles per dollar on our first $1,000 of spending, having the Citibank integration will allow me to track when my spending limit is close to being hit. After all, we are here to ensure that we get the most value from our card spending, right? And lastly, the app will also be introducing longer timeframes for monitoring our financial data from the existing 3 months to 6 to 12 months. This will allow us to monitor our spending habits more accurately. So guys, if you are keen to try out Dobin, you can scan the QR code over here or find the link via the description down below. Once you download the app, you enter this page where they will ask you how you found the app. I would greatly appreciate if you could click the tab financial blog or social media and enter my referral promo code Darren. Doing so will greatly help support this channel at no cost to you. Anyway guys, this is the end of my video. I hope it was of benefit to you. And if you would like to know about an app to boost your air miles, then I would like to introduce you to the Chris Plus app. The good thing about Chris Plus is that it allows us to earn Chris Flyer miles on top of our credit card rewards. So if you belong to Team Air Miles, then do check this video over here. But before you do that, do consider subscribing to my channel for more personal finance content. See you!